So, um, you know, I wanted to share some news with you really quickly before I launch into my act. Uh, in addition to being a comedian, I'm also an actress, and I got a very big career break just happened for me today, and you guys here are the first people I'm actually telling about it publicly, and that is, you guys, that... <laughs> I'm really excited. Angelina Jolie is adopting me. <laughs> Out of here. I don't need this anymore. <laughs> I have so had it with those people, the Brangelinas. Are you sick of them? Have they bought enough people now? Or, like, they own enough humans? They keep, like, going from country to country, buying a kid, buying a kid. They made a couple of their own. They bought some more. They own, like, a whole compound of human beings now. And the other thing that I think that's weird about that family is I just cannot quite wrap my brain around the idea, for those kids, of having Brad Pitt as your adoptive father. Because he's really hot, right? You know? Like, even if Brad Pitt is not your cup of tea, you cannot deny the man is fetching. And seriously, if Brad Pitt was my adoptive father, I would just do naughty stuff to get punished. That's what I would do, right? Yes, ladies, gay fellas, yes. So I was naughty, Daddy Brad. I don't know, spanky, right? I was bad. I should be punished. Broke something. <laughs> Braddy, that'd be my little name for him, Braddy. My mom is one of those really crafty moms, you know? Not, not like witchcrafty, some of you are staring at me weird, like, crafty like she makes stuff, you know? Like she sews and she makes scrapbooks and stuff. Here's the thing, like, <laughs> There's a really cool thing about having Crafty Mom and there's a really bad thing about having Crafty Mom. Cool part is that Crafty Mom makes you really cool Halloween costumes. She throws you like these kick-ass birthday parties. That's the cool part of Crafty Mom. Bad part of Crafty Mom is that she makes you wear homemade clothes. <laughs> there's nothing awesome about homemade clothes, like ever. Is there when you're a kid? Because you just want to look like your friends. And like you come in on the first day of school and all your friends are in, like Nikes and polo shirts and Levi's and you come in in a whole outfit of like doilies and pipe cleaners and whatnot. <laughs> You know, it's bedazzled, you know. <laughs> Paper clips falling off of you and stuff. And, and I was adopted. I was raised by a white family, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, there, there's nothing good about homemade clothes on an Asian kid. It looks messed up. <laughs> it does. It looks more normal on white people. I don't know why, but I, I look like a Holly Hobby ninja, is what I look like. <laughs>